oxidation numbers for ions. That's what we're looking at here. So we have these general rules to find oxidation numbers, and the rules do include ions, but ions tend to give students a little bit of a problem there. So let's make sure we know what we're talking about. So if you have monatomic ions, where you just have the one atom here, the charge, the two plus, that's equal to the oxidation number. So in this case, the oxidation number is plus two. And you can see for oxidation, the plus goes in front of the two. For charge, it goes after the two. Another one would be the chloride ion here. In this case, we have a charge of one minus the oxidation number minus one. So those are pretty simple. It's when we get to the polyatomic ions, it gets more difficult. The key rule to understand here is when we have an ion, all of the oxidation numbers, they're gonna add up to the charge on the ion. So the charge on this ion right here, the whole thing is one minus. So all the oxidation numbers have to equal one minus. So we could just write an equation. We don't know manganese, that's a transition metal, but we do know oxygen is negative two with just a few exceptions. So we'll add, we have four oxygens, each one is negative two, and then that's all going to equal the charge on the ion here, which is one minus. So we'll just write minus one since now we're talking about oxidation. So if we do the math here, we have x plus a negative eight. So x minus eight equals negative one. Add eight to both sides. We end up with x equals a positive seven. So the oxidation number on the manganese here, that's plus seven. And we said the oxygen, each one would be minus two. All of this here, when we factor in that we have four oxygens, will equal one minus. All right, so pause and you try one. Find the oxidation for the sulfur here in the sulfate ion. So we set up our equation and we end up with the sulfur has an oxidation number of plus six. That's pretty much how we do all of these. Let's try another one. Pause, find the oxidation number for the phosphorus here in the phosphate ion. We end up with phosphorus has an oxidation number of plus five. And again, we said each oxygen is negative two. And you'll note that the phosphorus, we don't have a rule for that here. So we know about oxygen, we can figure phosphorus out. Let's do one last one. Find the oxidation number for each carbon here in the oxalate ion. So for this one, since we have two carbons, we just say to X and carbon's another one that really doesn't show up in our rules. So we have to figure out by what it's bonded to. In this case, each carbon is plus three, it has an oxidation number of plus three. So that's how you find oxidation numbers for ions and polyatomic ions, monatomic ions. If you need more help, there's a link in the description to a video about finding oxidation numbers and then even more practice. This is Dr. B looking at oxidation numbers for ions. Thanks for watching.